Hi guys, I just wanted to pop on here really quickly to say thank you very much for all the fantastic comments you guys are leaving on my videos. I am really, really enjoying them. It's great fun, it's great to meet you guys and to chat. And uh, please, please keep it going. I also wanna say if you're new or, or, and you have, or you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. Um, also, um, the bell and all that good stuff. And maybe don't forget to pop over to the Art of Chaos uh, store to have a look at t-shirts and the mugs and all the different things that's on there. Okay, I won't talk for too long because I am absolutely waffling my head off in the video. And uh, I'm sure you'll get enough of me then. So enjoy the video, talk soon. Okay, good evening guys and gals. How are we all this evening? As, uh, as I promised yesterday, I'm going to have a go with the um, primary elements from uh, Colour Art um, with their Vivid Enamel. Um, yeah, it's, I haven't yeah, used it before, I'm, I'm very, very new to this and new to the blooms. I did a, a bloom before and it, it was using a, a bloom recipe that Erica Hughes uh, gave me uh, using a Valspar. Well, it's per base and uh, this stuff here. Villaggio, Villaggio, polyurethane gloss varnish. <coughs> Feeling a little bit throaty today, I'm afraid, so uh, sorry about that. Uh, I have tried this a couple of times already and I'm hoping that this one works because uh, I'm having terrible problems with this phone and I've done two two pours, uh, two attempts already, and it uh, didn't even record it for me, so hopefully this is gonna go through. Um, right, I've, uh, I'm using a, a couple of different colors here from Primary Elements. Pixie Dust, uh, what I've done is I've used their um, Vivid Enamel um, as the base. So I've put 30 mils of this in and uh, a scoop small scoop of uh, the pigment and they, they go in and then uh, I found it was really 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 thick so I have added a little bit of Erica's uh, recipe for the poor and medium um, I added that to it and it's a little bit softer now so that's I'm delighted with that um, I'm using pixie dust I'm using a Payne's grey which only was a tiny bit I added it into this uh, pink parasol and it actually came out very painsy grey. The pink uh, parasol more or less disappeared. And uh, the other colour I'm using today is Arctic Opal, uh, which is a lovely blue. And then Passion. Well, there you go. The um, cell activator is uh, Amsterdam Black. It's oxide, oxide black oxide and uh, Floetrol, so that's a two to one mix from uh, Floetrol, two parts to one part um, black. I also then have this here, which is a crimson red from Arteza. I have that in there as well. So I might throw that in and see how it goes. Now, the last couple of times I tried this, I, uh, it wasn't, <laughs> wasn't fantastic. So we'll try this here, see how this goes. So I'm gonna put this one down first. Yeah, I found the last time was when I just left it in one pile. I just lined it up with a pile. But uh, I think this time. pouring technique as well I think. Right now for the cell activator. Here we go. Pop it on. And I like this. I don't even know what that's for, but when you make the sound it works better. Right, here we go. A little bit of hair drying. I have no idea if that's done anything there. Starting to get some cells, thank goodness. 
Okay. Well, what do you think? <laughs> That's interesting. The only bit I like is actually sitting here on the very edge. It's probably just gonna roll right off. Hmm, it's pretty. But it's not. Wow. I'm not getting a wow factor of it. I think I might. I've still got some paint, I might just try that again. Maybe this will help it slide around a bit more. Anyway, if you all like that one, take a screenshot. <laughs> Keep it. Stick, it, stick it in your file. Here we go. Right, here we go. We'll try it again. Do, 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 do. I don't know why I'm hoarse today. I think I just haven't spoken much today yet. I haven't loosened up my vocal cords. I should know better. Wow. Right, well, that's spreading well. <laughs> right. What we do, I don't know, I can't remember what we did last time. Right, I'm gonna be a bit more. Okay, I don't know what the word I was looking for there. A bit more, not aggressive. I'm gonna be a bit more positive with my pouring. I find I'm afraid to put paint down. Mm -hmm. There we go. Now, I am not paying attention, to be honest, to my colors, which is probably why everything is going all over the place. It seems quite thick as well. So I might try another batch with uh, Look at this red. No, I want to go. I want to go down that first. Try and uh, thin it out, maybe with some uh, some of Erica's uh, pouring medium. Do do do, and finish on a red. Why not? Woo. Okay. Here we go, come on. Don't let me down. Don't let me down. Now, I am going to blow the bejesus out of this now. Here we go. Ah. Of course, I went and go and stuck the hairdryer in it. That'll work. <laughs> oh well. Dear, oh dear. Well, on a, on a, on a good note, these cells are a lot rounder, <laughs> a lot rounder than they were before. Maybe it needs that bit of arr, that bit of grunt. Starting to pull the gear, fine. Hmm, I like this one a lot more. Be in shot, I can't tell, I'm guessing. Probably went out of focus, that'd be typical. Right, oh, I can see little white pops popping up. Pop, pop. And that is where there's bubbles in the base coat, I think. <laughs> I actually like that little thing there now. That's interesting. Maybe I should bash my hair dryer off every painting. It's all coming together more anyway, that's for sure. So strange to have it so quiet here because Holly is, is so loud. <laughs> she's such a character. She's always up and down. She's always laughing, always singing, always shouting. But she's upstairs at 
the moment and she challenged herself to a 24 hour stay in bed challenge, which started at 11 o'clock this morning. So um, she took all the, the food that she could <laughs> up to the bedroom and she's uh, up there now on her phone with a stack of DVDs and uh, a big pile of rubbish to eat. <laughs> so, uh, you see how long that lasts. I'd say it'll last until uh, dinner time and then she'll be down. <laughs> I'm really annoyed now that this, oh, I've just tripped on it now as well. Well, I'm learning a few lessons today, that's for sure. <laughs> but I am much happier with all of this here. Now, if only I remembered the order I put them on. <laughs> okay. How on earth do I get rid of that silly mistake? And it's right there where that lovely bit is. Oh, and I really like this area here, look. Darn it. Let's see if we can just move it out of the way. Remove thine self from mine piece of art. Goodbye, and good riddance. Hmm. Now, yeah. that's interesting. I like that. I like that. Now, let's see. Ooh. They are lovely, lovely colours. How did that happen? <laughs> I like that. You know what, I'm, I'm getting so caught up with the idea of cells and how to get cells to get it, that I wasn't really looking at the composition here and I actually quite like that. Now, what I'm not liking is that they're no longer circular cells. They're starting to go all stringy and liney and wobbly. And... But I do like it. I love, love these. I'm not going to go through that. I'm not going to do that again. I like these. I like this here. If I could plunk this right in the center, lift it up and put it in the center, that would be great. <laughs> all right. That will do me for now. I hope I haven't bored you. Thank you very much for listening in. And uh, I'll, uh, what I'll do is the other ones that the video ran out for or stopped working for or whatever it did, I'll just post some pictures so you can just at least see what they were like. And uh, thank you very much. Please do uh, subscribe and tell all your friends. <laughs> and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. Thank you. Good luck. Bye-bye.